Good morning, and welcome to the Monday Morning Devotional. Dr. Wayne Dreyer, a self-help author, once said, A bar of iron costs $5. Made into horseshoes is worth $12. Made into needles is worth $3,500. And made into a balance springs for watches is worth over $300,000. To be worth that much, iron must go through quite a trial by fire. The more it passes through the heat, is hammered and polished, the greater its value. As a rule, we try to avoid going through the heat. We don't like experiencing trials in our lives. But James, the half-brother of Jesus, challenges us to change our perspective. He says that God uses trials to make us better. In that sense, they are a blessing from God. Our gracious God has a good goal in allowing us to face all kinds of trials. Trials build and strengthen the character of our faith. The testing of our faith helps us focus on the right things, eternal things. In James 1 verses 2 through 4 and verse 12 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. The trials God allows us to face reminds us that this is not our home. A better life now is not the goal. God has already prepared the best life for us for those who love him in the world to come. It is in the eternal home with him that Jesus made possible by his life, his death, and his resurrection. He faced every trial common to humanity and persevered. And when he passed through God's fiery wrath on the cross for our sin, he forged the crown of life for all who love him. So when God calls you to face all kinds of trials, don't, say, don't sigh and say, oh boy. Remember the goal that God has in store for you after you have passed through them. Pass through them. Look up and say, O oh joy. Join me in a prayer. Lord Jesus, help me to be faithful to you in the trial so that I may receive the crown of life that you have prepared for me. Amen. And the funny thing is, it's so okay. The last thing I need is to be But to hear what you will say, Word of God, speak. Would you pour down my grave, washing my eyes to see your majesty? I'm adding myself to the Lord.
And the funny thing is, it's so 